Hello, happy Wednesday. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed um, your your break last night from videos. Tonight's will not be that hard or that long. So we're going to go ahead and get right down to it. Um, today we're going to be talking about ratios. We're going to be winding up this unit soon. And um, today is ratios. Tomorrow we're going to be talking about pi, not P-I-E, but P-I. And um, so I want to kind of wind this down. But um, what we're going to do first is we're going to review one of the things that we've talked about already this week, which is <clears throat> similar shapes and scale drawings. So let's go ahead and draw a rectangle that is 5 inches by 2 inches. Okay. So what this is, this this is a garden. And this is the plan. This is a flu, uh, blueprint, I guess, if you will. They drew it up, the plan. This is not actual size, obviously. This line is not um, a garden. Usually it's not 5 inches by 2 inches. Okay. So <clears throat> the scale they're going to give us is... 2 inches is equal to, that's what the two dots mean, 6 feet. 2 inches equals 6 feet. So, what we could do is we could draw a bigger scale. And if it says 2 inches equals 6 feet, well here we have 2 inches. So this is going to be six feet, this is your actual, and this is your blueprint, okay? So the actual is going to be in feet, the blueprint is in inches. So this is our scale. Could we figure out what this is? We're going to call it X, okay? So it's the same, remember this is a rectangle, so if this is five inches up here, this is also five inches. So now we can make a proportion. We can set up two ratios to compare what we know. Well, if two inches is equal to six feet, then five inches is equal to X. This is what we're trying to find, the missing part. Okay, so we're going to cross multiply. We get 30 divided by two is 15. So this missing piece here is 15 inches. I mean 15 inches. 15 feet. You following? So now, could we write down uh, the actual, these are actual measurements. The length, the width, and the height, and the area. The length, the width, area. Okay, the length. It, we're going to call this the length and this the width, okay? You, it doesn't matter which one is which, but yes, we have those measurements. We have the length is 6 feet, width we just found out was 15 feet, and so now what is the area? Do you know the area formula? Yes, it's length times width, that's what area is. Okay, so what's 15 times 6? See if you can figure that out and put down your area. Okay, you should have gotten 90 feet squared because we are multiplying 6 feet by 15 feet and that is 90 feet. And feet times feet is feet squared. So that is the first one, okay, example number one. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to head into setting up ratios, which we've been doing all week, and actually for the past couple weeks with setting up proportions, those are just ratios, but I want to make sure that you know how to set up a ratio in um, three different ways. Please excuse my messy fingernail polish that's coming off. I haven't had time to reprint, repaint. So um, we're going to talk about ratios. 
there are three different ways. Or, well, let's just talk about what a ratio is. Ratio is a comparison. And usually it's a part of a whole. That's usually how you'll find it. Okay. So there are three ways you can write a ratio. You can write a ratio in fraction form. You can write a ratio in with colon, with a colon, which we did up here, two, two inches to six feet. This is a colon form up here. Or you can write a ratio in word form. Okay, so let me give you an example. Let's say the number of months in the year that start with J. Okay, number of months in the year that start with J. So I'm going to write that out here on the side. You like that morning announcement there? So the first one is months, number of months that start with J. Okay, so let's write it in fraction form first. Remember it's part of a whole. We have, I'm going to draw my fraction bar here. I'm going to try to keep it on this line. So we're going to kind of have to make it small. 12 months out of the year. How many start with J? Well, we have January, February, March, April, May, June. July, August, September, October, November, December. Three. Three out of 12 start with a J. So we're going to say three out of 12. That's how we read. Three out of 12. And we can simplify that down to one out of four. Okay. Could you go a little further and put that in a decimal? Yes. 0.25. Could we go a little further and put that in a percent? Yes. 25%. So 25% of the months start with a J, that's 3 out of 12, which is the same as 1 out of 4, which is the same as 0.25 and 25%. All those work. Can we write that in with a colon form? 3 out of 12 months, or 1 out of 4 months. Okay, that's how you would write that. And then lastly, with words, just like it sounds, we'll spell that out. Three out of 12 months start with the letter J. Okay? All right. It's Wednesday night. Go do your Wednesday night thing, whether that's church, spending time with your family, catching up on some work. Remember that our cartoon uh, scale drawing is due on Friday. It is a test grade. Hopefully that will get you a good test grade in the grade book. And we do have our next test probably on Tuesday of next week. So have a good evening and go Astros.